Star Fox. Wonder what he's in. In. Star Wolf. Star Fox. Oh, oh he's in the Nintendo oh, he's in 64. The, he's in the N64. Uh, hello, Don. Oh, oh, hi, Adam. Um, so, with the, uh, popularity of our SNES, Star Fox. Dozens of you. Literally dozens of people. Uh, <clears throat> this is Star Fox 64, a personal favorite of mine. Yeah, it's more your wheelhouse, apparently. This, uh, this was actually my first introduction to Star Fox. And uh, I couldn't. I I was utterly blown away by this game. And I was very surprised that they made another Star Fox. It was one of the really? first. It, I was. It was one of the first N sixty four games I ever saw. It was a uh, launch title, I do believe, nineteen ninety seven. Yeah. Uh, I did not see the N sixty four until I moved to Tell City. And went to a birthday party, so I was completely like, "Wait, what? <laughs> this was a possibility." <laughs> yeah, I mean, this to me was like a, a like a full movie almost, like just the the firing up the engines, like this whole sequence of this whole montage is just get you pumped to get out there and blow up whoever isn't agreeing with you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so uh, you you uh, this was your cartridge. You had the yep. uh, you had the the alternate title screen there. So we'll go ahead into the main game here, and I'm gonna let them do the talking. Okay. Corneria, fourth planet of the Lilad system. The evil Andros turned this once thriving system into a wasteland of near extinction. General Pepper of the Cornerian army was successful in exiling this maniacal scientist to the barren, deserted planet, Venom. Five years later, General Pepper noticed strange activity coming from Venom. James McLeod, Pigma Dangar, and Peppy Hare of the Star Fox team were sent to investigate. Upon their arrival, Pigma betrayed the team, and James and Peppy were captured by Andros. Peppy barely escaped Venom and returned home to tell James' son, Fox, about his father's fate. A few years have passed. Andros has again invaded the Lilat system. General Pepper has turned to a new Star Fox team, headed by Fox McCloud, to save Corneria and free the Lilat system once again. Okay, so right off the bat, this game has its own story that it tells in-game. And they uh, they didn't throw Andros in jail. They put him up on a civilized planet. Well, I'm not sure how civilized it was in this particular civilization. Well, it used to be uh, like Corneria. That in the star in the SNES universe, I think uh, Star Fox kind of takes place along a Mad Max continuity where there is very little actual continuity. It's all it's like Herculean legends of ancient Greece. They all they're all right. stories of the same character. I love this scene. Yeah. Open the wing. I like that they don't make you fly in formation. It's just a cutscene. Yeah. Check your G diffuser system. I still don't know what that is to this day. Techno battle. Falco here. I'm fine. This is Peppy. All systems go. But yeah, it's all the same characters from the SNES. There's given a lot more personality in this one. Flippy here. I'm okay. Although they do still have the same basic personality. <laughs> I see him up ahead. Let's rock and roll. All right, first mission. So as you can see, a uh, lot of action going on. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so. Let's get rid of these guys. I, I love that they don't just explode, they crash. Right, they and can't. apparently I can't stop hitting Slippy. Yeah. Um, one of the things I really liked in the SNES uh, version, there are missions where the pilots would eject and you'd see them. Oh, yeah, that's not a thing in this. But in this one that you I... do see the pilots, they'll talk to you, they have personality in this yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
It's not just the bosses, either. Oh, it's yeah. The random grunts will be out there talking to these two guys. There's a lot of character portraits. Corneria City just looking terrible here. Uh. Everybody stay alert! <laughs> streets are okay, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, the streets kind of kill me. They, they look like water slides. I mean, they, yeah. Yeah, usually I can speed past this guy, but I oh well. miss the miss the blue one there. There's one up ahead. I can get. It's a hell of an introduction to the game. It really shows itself off. Uh, it was a hell of an introduction to the Nintendo 64 controller oh, for me. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine. There real quick. Oh, scrape the paint there a little bit. Oh, I'll darn it! Walked onto the wrong one. It's not gonna hit him. Went too far off screen. Wrong with the G yeah, and I cannot lock onto those guys for nothing. Thanks, Peppy. I <laughs> but yeah, the same basic level from the SNES is just a straight upgrade. Ooh. It's everything but more. I love that he's sitting there just spinning the steel beam. Yeah. <laughs> all right. right. So going through all of these will yield you the uh, the true boss. Flying, Falco just absolutely flabbergasted by our flying ability. It's why we're the leader of the team. Follow me, Fox. <laughs> Didn't even lose a win. I did. Um, I'm glad he didn't see that. Falco, where you going? I found the target. Try to keep up. Yeah, he does specifically say that's the target. Never understood the mechanical birds, but whatever. Time for a little payback. Well, there's no floating space amoebas in this game, so there are missile trees, though. Yes. Gotcha. The camouflage. Camouflage trees. Now, when, from watching uh, from watching you play the SNES version, I was blown away at how all these bosses were basically just expanded fun. Like there was no portrait with someone talking to you in the original Corneria uh, mission back in the SNES. But this guy is an alligator. He's wearing the uh, he's wearing the uh, the Hanstein's team hat uh, for with A on it <laughs> like yep and the the baseball caps with A on it just sold this for me <laughs> you know who he's working for yeah and the boss plays out pretty much exactly the same from the SNES yeah the um difference is in the SNES the true ending is actually a tank that you fight not a rope not a robot monkey not this guy yeah, and uh, Falco will actually say that he is going to take care of this boss if you do the hard route. But if you do the easy route on this one and go after the monkey robot, yeah, uh, Falco just stays and this reptile guy apparently just hangs out over the ocean. <laughs> that, no, that guy killed me. Well, I guess I killed him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so getting the accomplished in Star Fox uh, means he took he took the right route, fully beat it. I don't know why Slippery was worried. You're becoming more like your father. Um, just minus the shades of being like my father, apparently. Yeah, in um, this universe, we can presume that uh, James McCloud is not hanging out inside a space wheel. No. no. He was uh, captured by Andros and did not escape the way Peppy did. And I have no idea how Peppy escaped from Andros. I really like the idea of him just digging his way out with a, sh a spoon. Yeah. Like Shawshank Redemption. All right. So we're going to Sector Y. Yeah, a little bit of a different placement here than the uh, SNES, but that's okay. I'm on my way. Really love this mission. <laughs> this mission is a peach. Uh, this, uh, this first got me into, um, things like Gundam and whatnot. Just seeing these guys float around. Yeah, that'll do it. I never got into Gundam, but I never really had access to it. 
Well, Cody had some cool like Gundam Wing toys. Oh, okay. And then I was already into this game. I saw those. I was like, oh, this might be fun to watch. Let's back up the squadron. There's so much in the background. It really makes it real. Oh yeah, the whole thing is like a like a battle just just going on. Uh, I for I forget if you can throw a bomb out there and kill those ones in the background. Oh, you I definitely you can. can. It counts to, it counts towards your points. There was a time when I was very big on points for this game. Uh, I always think that you can lock onto those. And you I can't. Know you, can, you can. You can dumb fire the charge shot, and if you time it right, you can get a lot of points that way. Yeah. Like I should have. That's nah, okay. This is a casual run. I am a casual player, but I can usually make my way through Starbucks pretty, pretty good. All right, Let's get the, get the gold ring. Take out these fellers. I'm just gonna say it. Andros has been pretty busy for himself. He really has. I mean, it's like he has the Star Forge. He just pumps out. He pumps out all of these, all of these ships and weaponry. Like to actually put this on, uh, to p put on the scale of a, a war with Corneria, Venom's economy has to be booming. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> like they produced a, the military sector anyway. They produced a lot. Not sure what their uh, consumer goods are like. They, you know, the the inhabitants of uh, and and Andros's army don't seem too unhappy. <laughs> no, you don't hear General Pepper saying we have to liberate Venom. Yeah, the, the we just have to get rid of yeah uh, the dictator over there. Like, which um, is he even a dictator? Yeah. It's kind of hard to say. I mean, like they all seem pretty enthusiastic. You'll never oh, defeat yeah. it. Like they really seem to venerate this guy. Yeah, they're they're all for him. Like they they're not fearing the whip. They're ashamed of losing when you're about to die you're gonna be honest I do love that the Cornarian army doesn't even begin to try and lend a hand they're just like yeah. we're gonna let these four guys look we pay we're paying them do it <laughs> you're becoming a better pilot Of course, from the uh, look All of right. Corneria, they might have tried, just not done a very good job. They have a volunteer force like Naboo. Yeah. They do have the Husky unit, though, which we will we will see. Yep. Because we are not going to Aquas. I can tell you that <laughs> right now. Yeah, that Aquas is a, was an invention for this game. I guess it was. We did have space fish and space amoebas, so I guess it has they the same wanted spirit. To, yeah, they wanted to try off the submarine, I suppose. Yeah. I get these guys. Uh, usually I can get him in one hit. Whatever. Well, not this one This is where hit, the game like, really started to shine for me, because it's... You gotta figure out where you are in space. Yeah. You're not on the rails anymore. Oh my god, when I was originally playing this back on my, like, 23-inch CRT TV, like... The colors weren't as vivid or whatnot. It was a little more washed out because composite and like 144p TV. But uh, finding those guys was always kind of a hard thing for me. I love this oh, guy. Oh, this guy. Don't potty just yet. <laughs> uh, he just launched off his ramp. Yeah. Trying out that new weapon. I'm coming for you. God, that guy. I'm so glad they added some personality for the bosses as you fight them. Yeah. And come on. <laughs> Cocky little freak. I'm coming for you. He just reminds me of every sitcom dad I ever watched. <laughs> I like that the uh, ship he, that brought him in is moving into the center of the uh, map over time. Uh, Yeah, uh, when I was younger and terrible at this game uh, he would eventually be like alright you guys suck and just stand <laughs> on just it land, and yeah. just be, give you a stationary target Slippy's head. Slippy 
Ah, <laughs> uh, that's satisfying. Ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a that's a wrap for mission two. Mission two. Yeah, sector one. Well, like we hell are we not, are. We are not going to Aquas. There you go. Now, um, it's been a long time since I've not gotten the uh, score requirement, but I believe the fleet doesn't show up if you get, if you don't take out a certain number. Uh, you are right. I do remember that being a being a thing. I, I don't know what the threshold is, but. God, they should really make a Star Fox strategy game. Cornarian army versus... I'm, I'm kind of surprised if they haven't. I, just, I, don't, I never really played a Star Fox game after this. After this one? Oh, they didn't have a strategy game. They just had Star Fox Adventures. Uh, there was the... Uh, well, the one I have for Wii U. Oh, okay. I think you came along for the oh, ride, because yeah, that was yeah. your 30th it was birthday just, party. That was just like a, another straight-up upgrade of the original game. It was, and a lovely one. I love Like, I know it. a lot of people didn't like it, but the Star Wolf fights were enough for me. No, the Wii U ones... The Wii U one was... Nuts. Spoiler for a pre-9-11 game. Star Wolf is in this game. <laughs> this, uh, yeah... Ah, Bill. We can catch up later, Fox. Man, so tempting to throw a bomb into all it of this. It really is <laughs> super tempting. But I'm, I'm trying my best here to minimize the casualties. You can have your charge shot accidentally hit one of the husky Oh, God, guys. yes. Uh, I, I, but usually you can... One of the great things about games like this, they're really short. Oh, There's yeah. always, like, if you're, like... You're, I don't even... Who did I shoot? Uh, I didn't think I did. Whatever. But He wasn't happy with us there. You know, if you kill too many of them at the end of this, they won't be flying with you. Yeah. Like, I remember there was a lot... I had a lot of experimentation. Back when I had time to just play this game over and over again, because it was one of the games I had. Um... I'd try to figure out exactly Ooh. how many you could get flying, flying behind you. And I think the graphic will literally have one crowded just flying perpendicular to the ground. <laughs> because they didn't have enough room for all of them. I, uh, I did my best to just clear the map. <laughs> like, all enemies, all the husky units. Yeah, because the enemies will kill the husky unit. <laughs> yes. So, it, oh, that, that looked like that was going to hit your ally, but... Out the it looked like it. Yeah, wonder where they uh, got the inspiration for this. Mm. Deep impact. Mm. <laughs> oh, clearly it wasn't an yeah, it was, uh, at all. It, it, it was a little uh, lesser known thing, The Grinch with Jim Carrey. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bill is basically Cindy Lou Who. Yeah. All right. So we got to get the four. Uh, four hatches that all these, all these uh, enemies uh, spawn. Take out those Jesus hatches! Jesus Christ! Who hit me? It wouldn't be a proper homage to Die Hard if you didn't take out four hatches. Yeah. I actually did have the Independence Day uh, CD-ROM game for the computer. Did you? It was a bad game, but I loved it. Well, that sounds like something we should. If you could find it and a joystick for it, I played it with a joystick. It was one of the only games I can get to work on the computer. Hey, on Alright, we got two of them there. I've actually lost a decent amount of health for this level. You're not getting away that easy. Oh yeah, I didn't realize it because uh, the sky was <laughs> washing it out. <laughs> yeah. Time for a little it looks like you've got Google Maps or Google Man, Earth the view of the ground. Gone. Like you're just that high up almost. Nintendo 64 was good about they had a surface and they just stretched a image over it. You see it a lot in the faces, actually, of things like Goldeneye. Yeah, it looks like those little like areas you can know is just farmland on Google Earth around where we live. All right, but all right. last two. And the core should be appearing here in a moment. There it is. Now uh, you got 
whole minute just waylay on this thing. Of course, Husky Unit likes to fly in front of you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just gets surfer dude all I just well I imagine him saying hello aliens I'm back <laughs> as he flies into the center of it and of course being that we spared the lives of many brave dogs this day we um, we are flying flying high with them you think they have dog tags um <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, you gotta. If you if you find a member of the Husky unit dead along a highway, it's important to know where his owner is. I I'm still an advocate for Bill for Smash. Oh yeah. Or at least you know what, uh, his final smash would be epic, where he calls in the Husky unit. That would. Yeah, it's just the Star Wolf, or it's just like everyone else is from the Star. It's like Falco, Star oh, yeah. Fox, Star Wolf. Only it's just fifty. <laughs> And now we're going to. I have a. I really do have a soft spot for. Um, for. Uh, I can't remember the now. The sun level here. Solar. Okay. That area is an oven. Don't go burning that R wing. Be real. That's actually a really good point, Pepper. I'll be careful. Which kills me. They're going to say it here in a minute that the uh, solar is uh, just a little over 9,000 degrees. The deduction is that the R-Wing can take things up to 9,000 degrees, but it only slowly, slowly I mean, burns up. You are flying over a star. Admittedly, now the name being solar is a little weird because Sol is the name of our star. And it's uh, it looks to, it appears to be a red dwarf too, which is why yeah that's it's why it's <laughs> being called it's why the only solar system in the universe is ours. There are star systems. <laughs> like is this the Lilat star? I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, Peppy, you're in trouble. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't really see the military significance of this, but then again, I guess if the if. If Andros has found a way to create life here. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, if he's found a way to uh, take over their uh, star, implant a star monster in it. Yeah, he's trying to do the Mr. Burns scheme and turn the sun off. Now, you can throw a bomb on those uh, jumping, uh, jumping whatever they are, the lava, the lava arcs. It yeah. is a waste of bombs. I don't honestly remember if they gives you anything for it, but it's not worth it because bombs are kind of precious in this game. Yeah. Uh, the only mission I think that Rob will send you like two or three of those boxes. That was majestic. And this is an excellent level for bomb farming. Okay. Like, yeah, you do have six. You, uh, you, you can blow up a lot of things, and it'll give you bombs. Specifically those. I like that Falco just made some friends. It looked like Slippy was just nose diving into the star. Well. That's in character for him. It is, yeah. He's not the best pilot. Now, um, I like Pepper's line about uh, Star Fox and be, uh, telling him to be reasonable. In the uh, Star Fox comic, which has no bearing on this story, by the way, it's a completely different thing. Um, he is going to the black hole, and there is another conversation just like that. Star Fox, don't go into the black hole. That's stupid. Very reasonable. And uh, Falco says, don't worry. I've been with this guy since college. I know how to calm him down. And there's just an entire uh, page of Falco beating up Fox. And it ends with uh, Falco carrying him over his shoulder to the brig for him to cool off and stop wanting to go and fly off into the sun or the black wow. hole. It's a great comic, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not saying that just because I uh, was the in the only issue of Nintendo Power I ever owned. This is the enemy's 
I do like that he just is offended by who would yes. challenge him. This is our opposition. Even though he's he's got a little bit of difficulty to him. He's not. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm questioning the strategic importance of a starbound bioweapon. I mean, what's it gonna do? It's trying to swim to the core. Oh, okay. I don't know if Which that's would, true, but yeah, well, I mean, it would be bad for Venom, I guess. Yeah, too. this. Oh, yeah. There's uh, Star Fox sometimes likes to throw things at you you really can't avoid that well. Yeah, I don't know uh, if I could do a somersault or what. Like the Galactic Rider in Star Fox SNES will always ram you and take a wing almost. All right. Oh, you made him bleed. Yep. Magma He's bleeding lava. Oh yeah, it's outside of his body now, so it is lava. Magma in, lava out. And that's a pretty good those, desperation move, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, those things will uh, will end you. Alright. Uh, just a little more. There we go. You did it! Wow, that's a... Uh... <laughs> that's a violent death. Yep. But uh, we've we've uh, we've freed Solar of Andros's terrible grip. Yep. Greeted as liberators. Uh, we're flying too low now. Yeah, you'd think you'd just be getting the hell out of Dodge right now. I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. You worry about your own high. I'm actually impressed that they can fly away from it. Because the gravitational pull is holding all those planets in yeah. place. I mean, well, if you sl like slingshotting around the sun is always good for gravitational slingshot. If you're that close, though, you've got other problems than yeah. just trying to get away. Now, uh, probably my favorite planet of the whole a whole game is Macbeth here. I can definitely see that. It's one of two tank so missions. So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Buck. It'll be a piece of and general. narratively, it does seem to uh, shift gears to where you're on the offensive. Yeah. Like, everything else is just countering the uh, attacks on Corneria and its satellites. But this is definitively an Andros facility. Yes. I, the train. I couldn't get enough I'm shots off out. on that first... Uh, First car, but we'll get these things. <laughs> I love oh, this guy. I love this bird. I always saw him as an ape, but I guess I could see him as a bird. Get these things out of the way. There's a bomb. No, this no, is a little. This is a little different from the SNES, where you fly inside the planet, but it, the planet Macbeth is, in both iterations of Star Fox, a, a weapons depot. Yeah. So I'm willing to tolerate this change, because it's awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded if, like, they gave you an option to R-wing this, or... That would be, uh... uh or tank it. I understand the pacing would be awkward, but yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. And it does give you an interesting perspective of air combat when, for when you actually do get around to it. Like it, right. make, it makes you think about what's going on the ground in the other missions. Should have got the ring, but I really wanted to blow those. I just love this yeah. scene. I love it when obstacles Gotta fall in front one. of you, but you know exactly why they're falling. Like, they don't just show up to mess with you. You know exactly why they're coming after you. Mm, didn't get that one. Yeah, he's mortally wounded. Like, it'd be so easy to just have falling rocks, but this game actually takes the time to show you a cannon shooting the wall. Yeah. 
trying to destroy his own place just to stop you. That act of desperation. Yep. Get that out of the way. What's wrong? Come a little closer. He says as he speeds off. Yeah, yeah. I like how he says that after you would have taken three yeah. hits, just... <laughs> oh well. Oh, it's so satisfying. <laughs> that, that, uh, that explosion really does sell the level. Alright, coming up on the, uh... One of the more frustrating parts on your first go through or first replay in a while. Yeah, th so there's eight switches, and if you uh, get them all, you can uh, get the uh, true ending for this or the accomplished, accomplished ending. So, let's we'll speed through this. I made it. Hey, right. Now that is one of the missiles that you will encounter later in the game on another route. Not on this route, but we're going to I didn't there. realize that. That is one of the missiles in the Sector Z, I think? Yeah. But yeah. Okay, here's the switches. Got number one. Got number two. They've got labels on them. You can keep count. There's eight in total. There's four and three. Got them backwards, but whatever. And there's one to the right. Uh, oh, no, there's not. That's just the supplies. Oh, is there one on the left then? Uh, yes. That's, uh -huh. number, that's number five. Just three more. And you gotta avoid, he'll try and scoop you up, and if he yeah. gets you, it really messes with you. Yep. Oh. Oh, oh god, oh, no. 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 I didn't mean it. Can you hit I'm him with sorry. a bomb? I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll throw a bomb. You got oh, it. Yes, you got it. got it. Okay, six. Alright, seven. Alright. Oh. There's eight over there. Oh, no. I see it even. <laughs> I even see it. <laughs> All right. Okay. And this is how the game communicates that to you because there's a red spot. Where yeah. We're that bit. Yeah. Okay. So we can salvage this. Now, uh, the point of a you know a, a run like this, you're gonna sh you're gonna see things you might not have seen otherwise because you're a good player. So if you don't do that. <laughs> This is what happens. Yeah. You actually get a decent boss fight. Yeah, the boss fight is is pretty fun, but we're gonna we're gonna end up having to go through Bolsa. Or yeah. Bols. Or Boise as the way I was on uh, Boise. Yeah, I used to think the L was an I too. I was like, how does Idaho fit in the fit in it? Okay. Um you know what, it's been so goddamn long since I've actually done this route. Yeah, forget I've, how you beat him. Uh, it's been a long time since I've actually okay. had to fight this guy. All right. Well, we got his head off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that seems like progress. Uh, oh, whoa, there. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> you mess up his little connection there. Um, uh, maybe I shoot him. There we go. Okay. All right. That's what you have to do. Shoot that once and then hit him. All, All right. right. I'm out of bombs. You got him now. Yeah, he's almost done. All right. Okay. The coward's way out not. would have been to just let him kill you and redo the level right. The no, we're way. not. Yeah. We're not doing that. Yeah. I Bolsa. love this level, but I want to get through it. Bolsa, Bolsa Station. I haven't played cool. Bolsa in so long. I forget what you even really do there. Okay. Whoa. That is so. That is such. That was. There wasn't much effort in that. That's a tenor shift from his other yeah. line in this mission. We'll come back in another video. Yeah. Show All right. The real one. Okay. But, you know, Bolsa Station, it does deserve some love. I've taken a few hits. Uh, we'll see Star Fox there, won't we? Star Wolf. Star Wolf, yeah. sorry. You worry about I guess we will see Star Fox there, too. Even kind of a sh surprise what if kind you. of them. All, All right. right. There is such potential for more enemies down on this. Oh level. yeah, I think 150 is, is pretty the metal? Do easily doable. Not the limit, no. Um, but it's easily doable. I was wondering if it was the metal. All right, so blue line is the easy route. <laughs> Hopefully, this isn't too too rough. But 
All right, we're off the bolts. If you destroy the satellite, we can go straight for Venom. Be I don't know why I'm on the it. Great Fox just can't lay down a shit ton of fire. Well, there's a shield. Over the top of it. Oh, well, that's hey guys, the uh, sweet spot. All <laughs> it's the yeah. small thermal exhaust I mean, port uh, just below the if main If anything, port. like, just the force of the lasers could... Uh, okay, this is kind of coming back to me. The uh, force of the later, uh, lasers could get it out of orbit. I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Now I do like the uh, space mission. I, d I like the space background. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah. I like seeing stars. I, the music's kind of okay as well. It's been a long time since I've heard it, seen it. I won't let you get away from me. Oh yeah, this is like Independence Day too, where all the alien ships you, you, you can just waylay on them. <laughs> Those yeah. they'll go crazy. You could, I think you can make them crash. But other than that, you can't kill them. Um, I probably should have gone the opposite way, but I'm committed now. Yeah, it it works. All right, okay, just run uh, into me. You have to exchange uh, information. They don't give up. Well. They are superior in numbers. <laughs> and they're also invincible right now. Why would they? <laughs> yeah, really. I do like how they're not helping shoot these things out and then wondering why I'm not getting it done so fast. All right, there it is. Okay, charge shot's not working. Wow, that was so well delivered. Oh, yeah. And Independence Day moment. I get a few of those guys. Uh, guys. <laughs> it's like one yeah, thing. really. Alright, everyone needs to just calm down. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, and now we're going. Late time is over. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, this is before Abu Grab. They didn't know it actually happened. This is a more innocent time. Still, Leon. God damn. Yeah, really. <laughs> Everyone else is almost playful, well, except for Pigma. It's like, Daddy scraped real good before he died. And then Leon shows up. I just want to cut your face up a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Put you on a bed and shock it. Alright, good. I won't let you get away from me. Good, I see the enemy. Oh. Okay, that's a pretty good line for a villain. <laughs> it is. It's it's very It's very pirate like. What the heck? You'll be down in Davy Jones locker soon, Fox. <laughs> Now it is entirely we'll possible get the pimples off this thing real quick. to just destroy the core and leave the entire Star, Star Wolf team alive in uh, shame. That's not going to be the case for Pigma. He died with honor. Screaming about his reward. And I really do like Pigma Dengar as a character just because he's such a... He's such a he's such a prick. Oh, like the ultimate like the Darnold. <laughs> he betrayed your dad. He's Peppy's old friend. Now he's trying to kill him because Andros, I guess, slept and just slipped him a hundred dollars for. <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, hundred dollars and thirty six case. I, I, I case think, of beer. I think I could pay. I think I could get Big Big Dengar to do some, some stuff for me. What the heck? That seems like his asking price. Oh, yeah. Two tickets to Daytona. That would do it for him. 
it is established that the Star Fox team under James McCloud was in the, it was operating in the red. <laughs> like one of your motivations for this game is paying off the uh, white elephant project, the, the great fox so, that your dad bought. I know we got Pigma and Wolf. Okay, two of them are left, just looking at my mini so map. I, I think one's chasing Falco, so it's probably Leon. Okay, Leon and Andrew are fine. Yeah, they're... Well, they're okay. Good. Their, their job is to protect the station, and they failed, so maybe not fine. Their employee review is going to take a hit, but they're yeah. alive. They're not a key contributor. Yeah. All right. I don't know exactly how you get a mission complete on that. Uh, prob I don't think it's probably no way. Yeah. It's just the only outcome. All right, and straight into Venom. There's no, there's no other options. Here we are. Ah, it's lovely this time of year. Yeah, it's the puke green. The baby poop, and then a whole ton of people. Oh yes. I cannot remember the last time I played this level. It's been a long time, but I'm really I forgot how much is just here. Yeah, there literally is. Like, I mean, this is area six. Yeah, like I always do area six, and then it just goes right to the dramatic confrontation with Star Wolf. Although we got the driver's training course. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Thank you. But yeah, there's. It makes sense that all these en enemies would be here. It's just it's good. To, it's good to see them. What uh what I, what I'm noticing though is uh, there's no city like you see in SNES. Yeah, and that one route you do see a city and a spaceport and air bikers. Uh, like this is. It it's like we're on a part of it that they're subterranean people. Yeah. They polluted the uh, surface too much, so now they all live underground. You do see them coming out of little vents, so I guess that makes sense. But, uh, Andros seems to recruit heavily from lizard people and apes like himself, so I don't yes. know if the lizard people lived on Venom beforehand. And the uh, apes were just on Corneria and left with him. I yeah. guess it doesn't matter all that much. No. But that would be interesting. I wonder if that's in any other comics. Yeah, I have to look up that Nintendo Power issue from back when. Well, these things are already... Uh, sh you shouldn't have arc electricity coming off just pipes. They didn't invest in infrastructure. They put it all toward the war effort. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Seems to be paying off. Oh, yeah, definitely. Enough to now we're in... Um, we're in Berlin. Okay, so... Wow. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a grand old time there, Peppy. Well, they're having a good time flying in formation. I this, do. This. <laughs> I love this boss. I forgot all about him. I, oh my god. I think I fought him like exactly once. No, he presents the ultimate driver's training course. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he has he doesn't want <laughs> you're shooting him in the back as he's trying to get away from you. Yeah, him. I mean just let him go. Come on, guys. Don't get too close, Fox. Uh, and he's happy. Get his pants. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Uh, it gets... Yeah, I know it's going to ramp up here in a minute. But we just... We got to end them quick. Oh, yeah. It's already ramping up. And there... <laughs> yeah. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right. Now, I don't know if this civilization don't know is if ancient or if Andros is just vain enough to... Man, to 
to make people build this for him. Get his other pauldron in his arm. Yeah. Now his head. Yep. <laughs> now he's. Oh, you're shaving you off red chunks. Oh, Jesus Christ! I've lost a wing. All right, yeah, okay. Um, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Losing a wing is terrible because you can no longer yeah. fly, fly straight. Yeah, I'm veering. I'm veering left here. Oh, you got oh, I bombs. see the wings. Oh. There it is. All right. Unfortunately, you're still badly damaged. Yeah, I'm, on, I'm literally okay. on fire. Okay? <laughs> Just a little more. You won't have to redo the entire level. I wish R2 could fix me All right, right now, but he can't. <laughs> We're in the, not in that universe. Oh, he just face planted and exploded. That's that's rough. But no. considering what he put you through. Oh, wait a minute. What am I saying? Oh, uh, you know, if it, I just can I borrow somebody else's ship? Yeah, <laughs> like mine's send the pretty guy banged up. Take this one. Go back to the Star Fox. No, I'm just. I'm a just light kind of rain flaming. would knock you out at this point. Yeah, you know, a uh, harsh criticism would 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 do it too. Uh, gold ring. Yeah, we'll get. That'll help a little. We'll get some health. Hopefully, there's some lasers in here. Except my pea shooter that I got. Okay, oh, yeah. there's one. There's one. The game's pretty generous. Yeah. Can I shoot that? Yeah. All right. But yeah, a uh, final approach to uh, Andros. Quite similar to the SNES. Different paths, different upgrades, different obstacles. A lot better modeled. Yeah. Uh, it's not. I don't know. I like the Andros face from the SNES. I'm glad it's the assist trophy in Smash. Good as I. I really do like just <laughs> making him rub his eye. He's like, oh no. He oh. seems so happy. Look at him. You know you're evil if you shoot lightning out of you. <laughs> what I want to know is how he became a floating head. Yeah, that's never really... Uh Never really explained. Alright, and we'll get rid of him. <laughs> and I completely forgot that he's just a robot in this. Oh, yeah, um, you can end him quick. Like that! <laughs> yeah, and, um... Now, the, that, the mechanical head kind of looks like the final boss of the hardest route in the SNES, where it's a polygon devil face. Yeah. Of course, when you destroy the face and SNES, he reveals his secret dreidel core. Which I always assumed he was, like, piloting, but I don't know. Given the, uh, true ending to Star Fox 64, Andros may or may not just be a floating... I do like head. that they call that mission accomplished. Yeah. Like, if there was anywhere it should say complete, okay, it's it right should, there. Yeah. Especially given the, uh, Stinger that we're about to see since we came went through this route. Yes. All right, 739 enemies. Kind of a low count for this game. A bit. Yeah. I'm not sure if it'll show the scoreboard, but okay. But now we're on our way, way home. Now, we never actually got to see the Great Fox do a whole lot except drop you off on Macbeth. Yeah. It's really just a... I mean, it really is just a carrier. It's their, it's oh, their there's space Bill. RV. There's Bill, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot that uh, you can get Bill and Cat flying in formation if you take that combination of planets because you can shift lanes. This isn't like... It's not like you're uh, hard-coded. Everyone gets their turn looking at the camera and Slippy. Yep, Slippy gets to give a little boop. Boop, boop. Yeah, I do like the bills with you. I don't think I realized that Cat is with you. If yeah, you if go, you beat the uh, polluted planet. That planet is kind of fun. The submarine captain's on the yeah, I don't really like. That one is that one is pretty fun. It's it's worth it to go to Aquas for that. Yeah, I honestly can't think of a boss in this game that I do not enjoy. Even the Aquas boss isn't bad. It's just the level getting to it. Yeah. 
Oh, and there's, there's just no a witty card. dialogue with the Aquas Maz. Yeah. It's just blubbering around. But yeah, um, the whole motivation for doing this mission, apart from, you know, truth and justice, was to help pay off this uh, debt with the great fox that uh, James McLeod saddled his son with. His midlife crisis mobile. And going in for the landing. I'd like to see the parking spot this thing takes. Well, Andros did make a lot of parking And lots. here's the end of a new... Ho oh, wait. Star Fox 64. Yeah. Here in the Hotel Marriott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they rented a conference room at the Marriott. Wow. That's pretty we, accurate. We they could only get the Husky unit yeah. to show up. We actually promised them a free lunch. <laughs> And we gotta be out of here by 2.30. The Jehovah's Witnesses are in town. Falco doesn't even shake, nod his head. I like that you can actually interact with the cutscene. It's time for us to go now. Jesus. Damn it. You said you put it in park. It's rolling down the highway now. <laughs> this is quite the outro this game has. Yeah. I mean, Mario is a still shot. Super Mario 64 is a still shot of a cake. And it says, I thank you for playing in my game. <laughs> this... Uh, this is a whole, whole ending movie sequence. Yeah, it's a good moment. And the majestic great fox. I In all of its plagonal glory. Oh, I can only see and Captain it's Falcon around. and Kirby beating each other up up there. Oh, yeah. Smash 64 does things to you like that. It does. Free association. It's a good moment. It was a good game. Special thanks. Oh, yeah, special thanks. And I no. guess Rob is just going to go for a joy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, never mind. Kaomi, Kaomi McDonald. That's a hell of a name. Yeah. Hey, That's a name of our times. A true hero. And there they are. Do, off do. into the solar set. Do, do, do. I love that. 1997. Nintendo. Good year. Uh oh, what's coming? I don't know, but I can feel it. <laughs> oh god. Guess that means we're gonna have to try a different one. Oh yeah, here. apparently. Alright. That's another 50 minutes down the drain. But yeah, that's another okay. that's uh, another video. Pretty sure I accomplished that particular score, but never mind. Well, thanks for listening and See ya. uh Stay tuned for the next run that we do. Oh, yeah.